Donald Trump claims to have the nearly $500 million he needs to cover the bond in his New York civil fraud case, but whether he will actually pay that by the Monday deadline is still up in the air. All right, Fox News' Chris Welch joins us now with Trump's latest comments and what could happen if he doesn't pay up. Chris. Yeah, Natasha, Steve, there is a difference between having $500 million in cash and being able to fork over all that cash for this bond. More on that in a second. Something else happened today as well. Trump's company, Truth Social, is about to go public after a merger deal was agreed upon. His shares will be worth about $3 billion. However, that money may not be that easy to access either. Just days after Donald Trump's attorneys filed court documents claiming it was a practical impossibility for him to secure funding for the nearly $500 million bond that he owes following his loss in the civil fraud case, the former president took to Truth Social. I currently have almost $500 million in cash, he wrote this morning. The fact that he has the cash doesn't mean that he can put it all up to satisfy the bond. He needs cash to run his business, to pay payroll and things like that. See, Trump must pay that bond by Monday or else he runs the risk of Attorney General Letitia James seizing his property. And she's already filed paperwork in Westchester County to begin the process of seizing Trump's golf course and private estate at Seven Springs. The reason is that it's less dramatic, right, Chris, to go in to um, the golf course uh, than it is to go into Trump Tower. I think Trump would actually like the optics politically um, of, uh, you know, New York uh, troopers, you know, going into Trump uh, Tower. But Trump's Truth Social post this morning came around the same time we learned that Truth Social would soon become a publicly traded company. Trump will own a dominant stake in the company, and his shares could be worth an estimated $3 billion. However, Accessing those funds before six months' time would not be possible due to what's called a lockup in the deal. A lockup is where there are restrictions on the ability to transfer or pledge the shares or otherwise dispose of them, except in very limited circumstances. Charles Whitehead is a law professor at Cornell specializing in corporate and securities. If he were to now try to amend the lockup to be able to walk away, that would be pretty deceptive. Now, Truth Social actually has lost about 39 percent of its active users year over year. And there are experts out there today who believe the market is drastically overvaluing this IPO, calling the stock price a bubble. Steve, back to you. All right. Thanks, Chris.